Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And for those who haven't read the title just yet, today we are comparing the Nike PG3 versus the Nike Carry 5. Let's get it. First things first, massive shout out to Project Basketball for sending these through. We really appreciate it, don't we, Timmy? 100% as always. If you would like your pair of either the Nike Carry 5 or the PG3s, head over to the description box below, click the link, and Proderick Basketball will take care of you. As they do. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support as you guys already have. Comment down below which shoe you prefer, hit that subscribe button, and of course, the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So make sure you do that for us safe. Now Paul George and Kyrie Irving are two of Nike's freshest and newest Ooh, athletes yeah. to join their signature lineup. Kyrie being in the game for five years and Paul George for three. Now the Kyrie line has been known to do many crazy things, oh, yeah. especially from the traction standpoint. 100%. The Kyrie line has been known to do this. Paul George, the newcomer on the block, has what we think one of the most consistent shoe lines thus far. Oh yeah. The one, two, and the three, not only did they all perform amazingly well, they performed just as well as each other and they improved each time. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as per usual, starting out with the aesthetics. Now in both of these shoes, they're known to be good looking shoes. The PG is clean, the PG is clean, it's to the point. The Kyrie is also clean, but has been known for its colorways, including this one here. The BHM colorway is a madness. Let's just stop there for a second. Should we stop there real quick? Let's just stop there for a second. Okay, let's stop there real quick. <laughs> this BHM colorway is clean. It is very clean. Oh my days. The heel uh, accent, wow. It's very wild. Well. And the well. strap, oh my goodness. The fly trap strap. Fly trap strap. Ha. <sighs> What are you saying? Eh, you can back to what you said. What I will say, if we compare two of their best colorways, I would say the PG NASA against the Taco Kyrie 5. Kyrie Taco Kyrie 5. Kyrie 5, Taco yeah. Kyrie 5, I Bro, the Kyrie 5s are one of the cleanest shoes on the market right now. 100%. Right now. Next up, talking about the traction, over here in the Kyrie 5, we have the all seeing eye traction pattern. And it performed. Well, mm -hmm. now the Kyrie line, like I said before, has been known to do bits, Madnesses. especially when it comes to traction. Madnesses. And every year, Nike does a madness when it comes to traction. They experiment the most, I think, with the Kyrie line mm -hmm. than they do with any other shoe when it comes to traction. Yeah. So it's only natural that our expectations for the traction in the Kyrie 5 is extremely, extremely high. Yeah. His game depends on oh, yeah. good traction. I just don't think that this traction lived up to our crazy expectations. Happens. I think the traction was still really good. Yeah. I think it collected a bit too much dust for my liking mm -hmm. and the dust didn't wipe away as quickly as I would have liked it to. Mm -hmm. However, that's all because of my crazy expectations for a shoe which I think deserves to have such high expectations. Yeah. So it was a bit disappointing that it didn't live up to what it was supposed to do. However, the traction was still of I. It was I. Got the job done. Now everyone, why has it gone all orange? Did it change or am I just going weird? You might be going Am I just going loopy? It's like I've gone red, haven't I? Have bit. you gone red? Yeah, just it's not just Play on, man. Right, let's Why see what happens. happens. Over on this side, the PG3 is the third in its line to have a great traction pattern. On this side, we see an octopus suction like pattern, which is really inspired by moon rocks, but we like to call it octopus. So it's absolute suction to the floor yeah. on every single angle, twist, turn, step back, defensive slide. These were a beast. Yeah. Talking dust collection, they didn't actually collect that much dust considering being these kind of moon rock crater-like octopus pattern. So you'd think it, because of all the pockets, dust would build up really easily, but it didn't. And that is an absolute huge plus on this side. So overall, talking both traction patterns, the PG3 takes the cake. Yeah. It's the 
slice of the whole cake. Most of the cake. Okay, the fire gets a slice. Whereas, you get most of the cake on this side. So next up, talking about the cushioning. Now this is a very exciting one because they both have four foot zoom. Yes. But no regular four foot zoom. One of our favorite setups across all shoes. Here in the PG3, we have that large four foot zoom bag, yep. which has been known to do the trick. It's the third time we've seen it. Only in this shoe, it's a little bit thicker yeah. and it is just amazing. It's bottom loaded, so you really feel it when you're talking floor to your foot and you really feel it right under your foot and it just performs so, so well and it yeah. felt incredible. Four foot zoom gives you exactly what you're expecting, that amazing court feel, incredible response. Not that great in the impact protection, but still very good in the PG thanks to the cord out midsole, which is the actual fine on carrier of the zoom bag. But all came together in the most amazing way. Over here in the carry, we also have four foot zoom. However, we have zoom turbo. Oh, okay. Now that adds a little spice to it, doesn't it? What makes it so spicy? It's the fact that the zoom unit is articulated to mm -hmm. me, which actually makes this the most flexible zoom unit ever created. Can I say that? Ah! <laughs> no? Mm. I'm a stick with it anyway. Okay. It was extremely flexible. The zoom in it felt amazing and it moved with your foot as well. Yeah. Which is really surprising because like I said before, the Kyrie line is known for its traction. However, it's the cushioning that actually stole the show with the Kyrie 5. The cushioning was absolutely beautiful. However, even though it stole the show, the PG cushioning was just better. It's just... It is still the show. It's just, all that show. Just all that better. show on that side. Can't, can't try and steal this show on this side. I, I tried coming with a humble one, and now you're just going to throw it in my no, face. No, no, definitely not. I was just saying, yeah, stole the show on your side, but just like keep it on that side because it didn't steal anything on this side because this is a show. You can't stay, you can't take the entire show. That's it, what I was trying to say. I'm, I'm saying, helping you. No, I'm, I'm helping There's, you. There too. was no need for you to say that again. No, I wasn't. I was more supporting what you were saying. Support, bro. So moving on swiftly into the materials. Now over here in the PG3, we have a textile mesh construction with a medley of overlays, including synthetic suede and even nylon as well. PG has been known for putting different materials on his shoe, or Nike and PG, and they do it in the best way imaginable. Yeah. Sometimes you put too many on and you end up like fighting with each other. However, the PG3 has all those materials working together perfectly you have the synthetic overlays to actually help with the lacing system you have more of the synthetic in the high wear areas as well to help with durability but the shoe materials were super light they were flexible they were to the point they were very breathable as well yeah. so they really tick all the boxes on this side absolute killer we, we are red we are red in it but um, we have to just see and it we'll, we'll see post it. edit we'll see what we can do yeah. Over here in the carry fire, what we have is this overall engineered mesh construction with some overlays in the highway areas. Now, the materials were nice. They were breathable and flexible. Yep. Once they broke in. Aha! And that was the problem with the carry fire. Yeah. It was that breaking in period. It's 2019. Facts. And many shoes have already proven that we can break them in with one or two wears. One or two. Unfortunately, the carry fires was not one of those shoes. Nah. It took a bit too long. Just to, uh, Maybe it we're spoiled, but it took a minute. Yeah, it took a minute. However, if you can survive through that one minute, right? If you can survive through that one minute, you will find something that is really, really nice. Not as nice as the PGs, I don't think, but still a great experience. It does feel nice. Yep. It does feel flexible. Yep. It's just that breaking in period, which is a bit long. Now next up, talking about the fit. Now over here in the carry five, once you're able to survive through that breaking in period and you make it out to the other side, you experience something truly special. This fly trap here is no gimmick. Once the shoe breaks in, this fly trap conforms to your foot nicely and you get an absolutely beautiful fitting shoe. The fit in this shoe truly is incredible. I think it's something that Nike did focus on in this shoe, 100%. Yeah. The lockdown and the way everything feels just feels good. It feels so good. But again, it's that 
waiting and that patience to get to that point, which you will get there, it just requires a lot of patience and hard work. All right? Cool. Now, when we're talking fit in the PG3, it's a great fit in shoe. Yeah. It's to the point, it's no frills. We've said it many times, even in the performance review as well. You put the shoe on, breaking time is pretty low. Yeah. Wouldn't say it's long, wouldn't say it's super quick pretty low but overall they just fit really well yeah. true to size as well so that's super important put them on lace up close the foot what more do you want job done job done but how well is that job done is it done as well as the Kyrie 5 the answer is no so that being said if I go to the Kyrie 5 or we're talking fit so moving on, talking about the support. Now in the PG3, as we mentioned in the materials, this medley of materials come together to hold the foot in the best possible way. Now the lacing system is another thing which has been consistent across the PG line and felt amazing in the PG3 as well. Yeah. You lace the shoe up and these different materials come together to hold that part at mid foot in more than anything else. And that true to size fit as well, come together again just to ensure that you're supported on your moves throughout the court, throughout the game, your defense, your offense, your two-way game, just like PG, you're taken care of in this shoe, 1,000%. Over in the Carry 5, the support comes from the overall lockdown of the shoe, which is enhanced by this fly trap. We have the outrigger of the shoe to help with my lateral support and the heel counter as well to make sure my heel is nice and locked in. This is actually one of the more supportive shoes, especially for guards oh, as yeah. well. I think it might be one of the most supportive shoes on the market for guards. Mm -hmm. Another shoe that comes to mind is the Dane 5. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below if you guys want to carry 5 Dane 5 comparison. We can definitely do that if you guys want it. However, I do think the support in this shoe is really, really nice. I think the support in this shoe might be better than the support in that shoe to me. Um, you know, I'm not going to let you have it straight away. Why? I'm not. Because it is good and it's great for guards. It's great for everybody, really. It's just a guard yeah. shoot. It's, it's a guard, guard shoot. shoot. Okay, no, I see what you did there. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm swaying you to the side to me. I mean, just look at the look at the fly trap. The fly trap is what's killing me. Look at the fly trap, Timmy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, yeah, all right. You're on board now, yeah? yeah? I'm on board. I'm on board. Good job. Yeah, Good support job. goes yeah. to the Kyrie 5. Thank you. I see what you did there. Last and most certainly not least, we have the price. Now we're at 3-3, so this is the decider. Ooh. The Kyrie 5 is priced at £115. Yeah. And the PG3 is priced at £105. Okay. The PG3 is better value for money. That's it, that's the what PG3 I was waiting for. It's all value. about the value. We yeah. talk price because that's a numbers thing, but the value, when we're talking what do you get once you give Pro Direct of all people your money, what do you get back? Exactly. Right? You get 115 for the Kyrie and 105 for the PG. We're talking value. You're getting everything you get in the Kyrie for £10 less. You're getting better traction. Yo. You're getting better cushioning. Yeah. You're getting better materials. You are. The fit is arguable. The fit is arguable. But we gave it over here and the support is not arguable. However, looking at everything, the PG3 is just better value for your money, people. It's just how it is really. Yeah. So right guys, there you have it. Coming through in the fourth quarter, in the clutch, the Nike PG3 takes the dub. The traction in the PG3 was absolutely beastly. The octopus suction pattern, absolute madness. Along with the materials as well, the medley came through, the mesh construction, and then the synthetics and the nylons all did the absolute trick and their job all together at the same time in perfect harmony. I like that. So do I. But well, by no means is the Carry 5 a bad shoe, by no means at all. This shoe was incredible. And it all started off with that Nike Turbo. Oh, hell yeah. It's buff. That cushion system was absolutely beautiful, along with this flag trap, which provided you that extra lockdown. Extra. And then this being one of the best supportive shoes for guards, I mean, you're going to be all right going either way, really, oh, yeah. truly. Maybe even better going my way. No, because we just told you to go better this way so don't try and spin it now the pg3 one i mean it's also me you lost but pg3 one and i won so that's good it's nice 
So that's everything. Thanks again to Polaric Basketball for sending these through. If you would like your pair of either the Kyrie 5 or the PG3, head over to the description box below, click the link, and Polaric Basketball will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video and show your support as you guys already have, but continue to do so because it really, really helps us out. And of course, comment down below which is your favorite between the two. Did you agree with our pick or did you have something else in mind? And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, hit the bell next to it. To make sure you get notified every time we drop a new video. Safe. So, all right, guys, that's everything. This is the Nike PG3. This is the Nike Carry 5. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.